Huntsaker, and um, I'm co-founder with my wife, Jill, of JillandLeviHuntsaker.com. And today, we're going to be covering how to have more confidence in your Facebook lives as you're building your business. So the first question um, that I get a lot is, well, how do I create all of the content that I'm going to end up doing? Well, the, the good news is um, you can create your own content, and that's awesome. But if you're not to that point yet where you're not feeling 100% confident, the great news is that anybody can be a, a reporter. Absolutely anybody can be a reporter. And so if you are not feeling confident enough to be 100% of the time producing your own content, most likely you're consuming somebody else's content. So you're learning, you're putting things in your brain. And as you're doing that, take notes. You can repurpose the content that you're learning and become a reporter on the content. You don't have to be the expert. You just have to know where, how to find the right information and be able to share that to your audience. And if they're getting value from it, you're going to see that. Okay. So create your own content, repurpose your own, con or other people, uh, other people's content. Sometimes you don't even have to be able to speak clearly to uh, make this happen. And the biggest thing is just getting out there and doing it because at first, guess what? You're going to suck. And guess what? That's okay. That is perfectly okay. Because as you do it more and more, you're going to get better. Um, so as you show up with more and more confidence in your business, you're going to start attracting the people that are attracted to the more and more confidence or that even have the confidence already. Maybe um, I've heard it called the chicken list, the people that you're afraid to talk to. Those types of people, they're going to actually start to see the confidence that you've got in yourself. Okay. So really think about it. What would that mean to your business if you were able to show up with more confidence, the confidence of a leader? What would that do? First off, that's going to change your personal demeanor. That's going to change how you show up to your audience. You're going to know that you have the skills and the knowledge that you're one step ahead of them. That's all you have to be is at least one step ahead. So don't think that you have to have tons and tons of successes to be able to get people to show up and follow you, follow you as a leader. But if you have the right solution and you're one step ahead, that's going to help. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is video, just like we're doing right here. That's the best way to connect with people. If that's not your thing, that's perfectly okay. But I'm going to tell you right now, video is way more engaging than a post. People watch videos. They want to see content, right? They want to get to know you. And you're actually going to be able to share your personality a lot better in a video than you're ever going to be able to show online or in a post. Ha, video, this is online. Okay. So be relatable, be yourself, embrace your inner weirdo, because that's what's going to attract people to you. Don't try to be something you're not. When you can actually be yourself, your vibe attracts your tribe. And so you're going to be bringing along like-minded people who get you for who you are. And then you don't have to be pretend to be something that you're not. And it's going to be way easier to produce your own content when you're just being yourself. Okay, so let's get into the five tips. The first one is be prepared. It's okay to have notes. You don't have to just try and repeat it all from memory. As you get going and you do it more and more, you're going to get better and better at having this. Um, ha, sorry, my phone was going off. So we'll just roll with it, right? So make notes ahead of time. See, I had to look back down because I lost my train of thought. Um, make the notes because you're going to need them. So the second thing is you're going to state what you're going to cover. Make sure that people know right up front what you're going to be covering because that's going to let them know if they're going to want to continue watching. The third thing you're going to want to do is you're going to introduce yourself and get right into it. You're not going to wait around for followers to show up. Um, speaking of which, if you're joining us later, put hashtag replay in the comments and let me know you're catching it on the replay. But uh, you know, you're not going to wait for people to show up because 90% of people, they're not going to be able to watch it live. They're going to watch it on a replay. Um, the camera right there. See, embrace your inner weirdo, right? You're going to be looking into that camera because that's how you're going to connect with the people that you're talking to. If I'm looking here at my own screen, that's not very interesting, is it? 
because I'm not looking at you right now. But if I look right there at the camera, I'm checking it out, guess what? Now we're connecting. You're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna connect with your audience because you're looking at them, not down, eyes drop down below on your screen. Okay, um, and, and remember that you're gonna be talking to your audience like you're talking one-on-one -on -one with somebody. So think of that uh, little dot on your camera as somebody else's eyes. You're gonna just make sure that you're looking at them like a person, like you're talking face to face with a person. So that's gonna help you connect and engage with your audience more. All right, the last thing that I'm gonna say is in your engagement, or uh, the, last the fifth tip is ask for engagement, okay? So you want your lives to be engaging, but sometimes people don't feel comfortable doing it. But guess what? If you ask them or tell them what to do, they're more willing to do that and, and follow, the, follow instructions, right? So it's okay to wait just for a few seconds. If you ask a question and you're waiting for comments, things like that, it's okay to wait for a little bit, um, but don't make it long and drawn out. You wanna, you wanna keep that going, keep your momentum, keep your lives, keep your energy. And uh, yeah, so that's the training that I've got, the five tips to helping you um, be more confident in your Facebook Live. So the way that I like to think about it is I think about it this way. Think about um, something that you're really passionate about, something that you have a lot of knowledge about, okay? If you were asked to speak about that right now on the spot for 10 minutes, could you do it? I'm gonna guess that, yeah, you can. So what's the difference between that and something that where you say, oh, well, I'm shy? Um, a lot of it just comes down to knowledge. When you feel knowledgeable about what you're speaking about, your confidence is going to shine through. So think about what you do for your day job, your career. Um, maybe you're strong in, in your business already and you've gone full time. Um, are you confident enough to show up and talk for 10 minutes on that? Learn it, get better at it. Um, and, and just know that shyness is more about insecurity of knowledge where you don't want to open your mouth and re remove doubt that you don't know what you're talking about, right? So really get in there, engage, and get content and produce content that you are passionate about and knowledgeable about. That's how you're going to start creating your own content. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the training that I've got for you guys tonight, the five tips that will help you have more confidence in your Facebook lives. So let me know below if you got value from this tonight and let me know what your number one takeaway that you're gonna start using in your business right now. So have a great night, everybody, and I'll talk to you later.